All right, guys, I'm climbing. Careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, he's coming right at me. Hold on. Oh, this is a bad situation to be in. As you travel across the rugged landscape of the Australian outback, it's pretty obvious that this environment is the perfect place for reptiles. Today is our last adventure into the 350 square mile wilderness that exists just outside of Meandara. During the several days we have spent here, working under the special permits of Lockie Gilding and Max Jackson from Australian Wildlife Encounters, we managed to accomplish several successes, including the safe capture, presentation, and release, a species such as the bearded dragon, the blue-tongued skink, and the sand monitor. Yet it wasn't until this last day of exploration that we came across one of the outback's most elusive lizards, the lace monitor. Okay, he's starting to move, he's starting to move. Okay, you hunker down in the grass, we're gonna let him go for this. Into the burrow. Another good attempt at it there. Got some good B-roll shots of it, but wow, they are fast and they always stay close to their burrows, which is oftentimes why they can be so difficult to catch. Yeah, check this out. Right down in there. That would be a monitor burrow. All right, guys. Yeah, let's keep at it. That was a really great look, almost the golden opportunity. Something up in the road right there. Okay, we've got another monitor here. It's a lace monitor. It was going just toward this tree. It is going up the tree. On the back side of the tree, this might be catchable. It is. Going straight up the tree. I'm gonna go after it. All right, guys, I'm climbing. Careful, tree's half dead. Is hissing at me. This is gonna be a wicked grab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, he's coming right at me. Hold on. Oh, this is a bad situation to be in. Literally nothing between me and the lizard, but I've got to hold on its tail. It's facing right toward me. Oh, this is bad. I can't get a good angle on him. Got him. Nice. Ah, getting clawed up. Oh boy, that's really high up to have caught a monitor. Uh -huh. Now the challenge is gonna be getting back down. I've got my hands full. This is the lace monitor. Ah, ah I'm getting ripped to shreds here. Okay, I'm gonna try to slowly maneuver myself down. Okay. That's a long drop from there, isn't it? I'm not jumping that one. I'm running out of branches. Hold on. Woo! That is a good looking lizard right there. It's actually missing the tip of its tail. Wow. 
The acrobatics necessary to catch monitor lizards have been one of the greatest challenges so far of my career. And what you're looking at right there is the lace monitor. I have it and it has me. What a beautiful reptile. And I really had to work for that one. I'm gonna have some scars for that one. Blood on the thumb, blood on the hand, blood on the arm, claws going into my tricep. But there it is, one of the most pristine reptile species here in Australia, the lace monitor. Now, when we caught the sand monitor, we were extremely excited. That was also a very difficult catch. Look at that, it is absolutely locked onto me. And you may be noticing that they're about similar size, but actually the lace monitor can grow quite a bit bigger. I would consider this just a juvenile. They can reach lengths of up to six feet. And like the sand monitor, this is a voracious predator. Looking for anything it can get its jaws on, whether it's alive or dead, it is fair game. Now, one thing that's really interesting about the lace monitor is it's more arboreal than any of the other monitor species out here. Its first line of retreat was to head up into the tree, which actually is an advantage for me because it isolates the reptile. If it goes down into a burrow, there's no chance of catching it. Now, while it's not an easy catch, it is easier than chasing it across the grasslands and hoping that it eventually turns around and gives me a defensive display. They do have epic, long, beautiful tails, but you'll actually see this one is missing the tip of its tail. That could have happened from a predator grabbing onto it. Could have also happened in a battle with another larger monitor. But even without the tip of its tail, this lizard is incredible. Now you'll notice a very distinct yellowish banding on the underside of the chin there. And here, let me just tip it up a bit, Mario, so you can zoom in and get that shot. And while the body structure is similar to the sand monitor, the color difference is quite noticeable. All of that golden speckling that runs along the legs and on the lower jaw. And I'll tell you what, the claws are no less sharp than the sand monitor or any reptile I have ever worked with. They're about as sharp as the talons of an eagle. And as soon as I had the monitor isolated up there in the tree, it immediately went into a defensive maneuver where it said, okay, I can't climb any further, so what I'm gonna do is hiss and try to bite you. And as soon as I grabbed a hold of its backside, I had control in a sense, but still, if I had let go, it would have lunged forward and latched onto me. And let me tell you, you don't wanna be bitten by a monitor that high up in the tree. Now the bite from this reptile is very painful. They have razor sharp teeth and there's a lot of bacteria in their saliva and oftentimes monitor bites result in an infection. There's a lot of debate out there in the scientific community as to whether or not these reptiles are actually venomous. We know the Komodo dragons, when they bite their prey, that victim eventually falls to the toxicity of the saliva. I'm not sure how that necessarily works with the lace monitor, but I can tell you this much, I do not want to be bitten by this creature. So incredible. And actually, Mario, could you help me for just a second? I want to kind of show you guys the strength and musculature of its body, but it's latched onto my arm. And one cool thing about the lace monitor is that they become larger and stockier than many of the other monitor species ow, 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 here in Australia. And it is just, ah, ooh, that, that's, that's like a fish hook in the backside of my arm. Here? Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. it, okay. Gotta get it off, off, almost, almost, almost. Here, grab him, grab right there. There we go, okay, now I've got a better hold. Oh, for the entire first part of this scene, I had a fish hook of a claw in the underside of my arm. All monitor species are incredibly intelligent. In fact, almost problem solving intelligent. And the lace monitor specifically tops the charts. The females will actually lay their eggs in termite mounds and use the heat that's generated in there to incubate the eggs. The termites then come and rebuild their nest and it's a very solid structure. The babies wouldn't be able to get back out. So what the female does is remembers where she laid those eggs. She goes and digs them up as they're beginning to hatch and then the babies are released out into the wild. Whoever thought that a reptile could be such a good mother? Now, I cannot tell at this age whether or not we are looking at a male or a female. It's rather tough to distinguish when they're juveniles, but I'll tell you this much, it is one impressive reptile and certainly a creature that we absolutely respect. 
Well, how cool is that? The lace monitor is officially our second monitor catch of the trip. I'll tell you this much, the catch was no less challenging than the first one. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, that was an awesome one. Chasing a lace monitor up to the highest heights of a tree made for an incredibly daring and dangerous catch. Yet nothing excites me more than the moments I got to spend in the presence of this beautiful reptile. The Australian Outback provided the Brave Wilderness team and I with some of the greatest adventures of our careers. And I speak for us all when I say that we cannot wait to one day return. If you thought climbing a tree to catch a lace monitor was heart racing, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I managed to get the sand monitor up close for the cameras. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. That might be your most epic catch of all time.